M0FXB here we are with the CPS of the Radto RT920. Just scroll down to the bottom of the link that I have provided and just click RT920 just here. It says CPS. Hopefully we'll get the firmware soon. Uh, but anyway, CPS 1.04 and just, just click it like so. And then it will download up to your folder and just run it and open it. And it looks like this. It's a tiny little green radio by the way. Then just use a normal Bofeng UV5R cable. Just, just put into Amazon Bofeng UV5R cable. And you'll get one for £6. Connect it to the twin pins just there. Like so. Hopefully you can see that. And it's a bit dark. Uh, to your computer. Then go to your PC and select. Just above the Windows Square. Right click. Go to Device Manager. Just so you've got your COM number. Scroll down until you see ports and then find your COM here, COM3. So then go at the top program to the right of that. You've got serial port settings and serial port. Select serial port. And then here, number three, click OK and then just go read. So you've got shortcuts here for read and write. You can go program. So read and I've already added a few memory channels. Now, one of the key things that people keep asking me for is to name the receive HF memories because you get that blue band and it says it's in Chinese. And so that's annoying. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this. But to add a repeater, nice and easy. Look, I'll just show you one that I've already done. So have I done many in this radio? Not really. So let's do one from scratch. At the top, channel number one, we're going to go one, four, five, dot. 600 transmit frequency 145.000 and then we want transmit a tone so ignore receive transmit 94.8 and Brad Tail getting really good at writing their software now going across where's the name name here that's gb3wr transmit we've got the shift because you add the frequency you don't add plus and minus just make sure that it says receive modulation fm but i haven't changed any of these the bandwidth is here tx power let's leave it you've got high low medium it's about nine watts it's radio and that's that's all you need to do to add a memory channel repeater now if you go at the top here and go to edit. One of them says so to the left of program. One of them says so go down FM AM SSB modulation. Click that. Now you get into the sort of FM memories. Okay. Now let's have a look here. So FM range you've got here. So this would you I would just put radio four here, though it's not letting me put that in at the moment. Uh, underneath, I reckon. Let's put a frequency in here, 94.30. And to the right of that, I'm going to put radio 4. There you are. And then here, look at AM range. And you've got the range here. You have to select the right range. Otherwise, it's not going to put, let you put in the frequency. So for, for, for the HF band, you'd have to go here at the very end and put in. So here we can put in sort of 7.1 six zero click to the right put your bandwidth in you can even fine tune it if you really want to and give it a name so we're going to go 40 meters now remember the radio doesn't know it's on 40 meters um it's only because you've told it i could write in here donald duck and that's what it will say and that one there's the top one isn't let me the current frequency it was almost like the vfo it does not let me put a name in so i can put one here underneath 14.200 300 for now uh three and then we're going to put 20 meters it's only a guide it's nice to see it but it doesn't really make any difference to, to using the radio so you get the idea the same for the long wave medium wave type frequencies you know i, I don't really know even know what they they are to be honest i forget but it says the range here so let's just go um two seven eight uh, is that long wave or medium? You know, I'm going to put MW. And it will say medium wave. That's all it is. So it's not really a game changer for the radio. But it's nice to see it. So that's that done. Then you've got your normal settings. So 
channel editor is where we are now. Frequency modes is pretty much when it just boots up, you know, when you want just want to put it into VFO mode. So put in your favorite frequencies here. So I could put in say 434.550 and I could put on this side, let's put air band 133.850 and that's on just on, and you can put in tones and things. I think that one's on transmit is 77. Obviously there's no transmit on air band. Uh, it's blocked. You can't transmit on air band. So many people are saying, oh, don't transmit on air band. You can't. Stop saying it. Um, all the manufacturers know that. So anyway, right. Uh, and then let's try an airband one here on 22. See if it will go in. 133.850. Let's click across. Yes, it is letting me put it in as a memory. And um, we'll just put here airband. Okay, and that's it. Right, so I'll put in my node here as well. So we'll go 434.550. Uh, transmit 77. And it's called Hubnet, that one. Hubnet. So if we send to the radio, right to the radio, start. You see the radio goes like that. And then we'll just quickly show you a couple of bits. It has got Bluetooth, so you can program it using... The app OD Master will probably work. There's a few apps out there now, but I think OD Master is quite a favourite one, isn't it? Um, and it it's not it's not got Bluetooth speaker. If we go into VFO mode, yeah, and it's actually got gnomes sorry zone, so you can put um, channels into a zone. Let me just see if I can see the zone a minute. I did notice it was jamming around sixty one. Let's just see if it's put the memories in there. Um, yeah, it has actually put them in there, so I'm not sure why it, it's even got the air band in there. And if we go to the uh, let's just go press and hold zero, go to the radio side, so not really sure why it's jamming at 61, like as you can see here. Uh, but the memory channels have gone in, so yeah, it's a glitch, and I'm sure Radtail will watch this video. So if we go into memory mode when we're in HF, so you hold down the zero, then go into memory mode, and with a bit of luck, it's not showing the name, so it's almost like it's not remembering the the memory names that we put in. So let me just reboot things a couple of times, but it's still the same process. And of course, if you exit the HF mode, you can set a shortcut. You've got a nice band scope there. Nice colour screen, dual watch, twin PTT, and uh, you know it's a good device. And Radtel have made some good software. So thanks for watching. Thought I'd show you it using the CPS. I'm going to quickly reboot everything and just see if I can get those names in on that HF. Yeah, it does keep jamming. Um, so I'll message Radtel and I'll send them a video as well. Bye for now.